Good day, YouTubians. Purple Mentat here. I've had a request to show what I am now doing for audio editing. As such, I am doing so here. You can see that I have Adobe Audition open. This is from the Creative Commons license, or Creative Cloud license, not Creative Commons, the Creative Cloud subscription software service. I have my AVI files here from the recording. Let me show you what I do with them. Actually, I'll show you from the start. So, this is the latest episode of Test Chamber. What I do is I just right-click that, hit Extract Audio Stream. ST0 is going to be the game sound. ST1 is going to be my vocals. These have been recorded with the XTouring, and it always generates two audio tracks, which Premiere Pro does not play well with. So I extract the vocals, get rid of the game noises entirely because I'm happy with them coming just however the thing captured it for now. Toss this into Audition. With a longer track, a longer take, a longer episode where I have multiple takes, I will cut the different, uh, all of them will be different cuts and I will meld them together into a multi-track. I can cover that some other time if you guys are super interested. Now what I do is I find a nice silent portion like this. And I select that whole silent portion. And I go to Effects, Noise Reduction, Noise Reduction. This window pops up. It usually pops up on my other monitor because I use two monitors for my editing. I click Capture Noise Print, click back onto Audition, Control A to select the entire track so it applies to the whole track. I don't know if that's actually necessary or not. It's just what I do. And then I give it a listen. Good day, Minecraftians. Welcome. Hang on. I'm actually going to reduce the area that this is going to listen to to a good 10 second area so that I can see what's going on. Uh, actually, you can very see, clearly see the difference between the noise prints there. Good day, Minecraftians. That's what it sounds like with, with the filter in place. This is what it sounds like without. Good day, Minecraftians. Good day, Minecraftians. Good day, Minecraftians. You might not be able to hear a great difference because this particular video in and of itself is not being noise reduced. But that's what I end up doing. And you can see, if I click off, with... Wait for it to regenerate. All of that blank noise goes away. And if I listen to the noise only, I can see everything that's getting extracted. All of the buzzy nastiness that's coming from the general ambient sound around me. So, change that off of output noise only. And I hit apply. And there we have it. Now, all I need, now I close out of this, hit saves, and open up Adobe Premiere. New project, okay. I always just write over the old project that I was using because I only do one edit at a time at the moment. Later on, I may change the process around. Now, into this project goes the AVI file, which Adobe will automatically take the primary track of, at the game sounds and such, as well as the WAV file that I just created, or just edited in Audition. Now it's a simple matter of shift equals so that I can see everything, and I zoom in a bit so that I can see the waveform. And I always cut here and clip that end away. I've been told that this is a terrible way to use Premiere. But you know what? It's the way I know, and it moves fast. I, I've learned how to uh, do this quickly. Hang on. Stop that. Stop that. Uh, except when I'm trying to show it off to you guys, apparently. All right. There. I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. Hang on. I'm going to 
there. Now that stopped. So just you hit C to change to the cut tool. I hold shift to cut through all tracks at once. And then I select those tracks, uh, those clips and shift delete to get rid of it. Now, the reason I'm showing you the switch over to Premiere specifically is so I can show you the final bits of the audio editing that I do in Premiere. And, well, besides trimming it to actually fit the video and trying to watch through the video to make sure that it actually the audio actually syncs up with what's going on in the video, which it usually does without too much futzing, I apply two audio effects through Premiere itself. I right-click the track, go to Audio Gain, and I normalize all peaks to negative 0.1. And honestly, I have no good reason for that besides the internet said so. From I barely understand the decibel scale at all. Everything that I'm doing here, I learned from tutorials that I googled. So there you have it, folks. I barely know what I'm doing. Then I add a dynamics audio effect so that I can input a compressor, and after a bunch of fiddling around in trial and error, I found that a threshold of eight, negative 18, a ratio of three, and a makeup of eight is works out great for me. Now, this may be a little hard on the ears, but this is what I end up with compared to what it was before. Actually, let me show you with the compressor active. Actually, I'm not even sure how to temporarily deactivate the compressor. Let me see if I can select just the compressor and... Nope, that didn't do it. My default go-to is pretty much Control-Z to turn things off. All right, so, ah, there we go. There's a power button that I can turn off on and off. Oh, nope, that'll reset things. That's not what I want. Huh, okay. So I can bypass it. So this is without the compressor, with the audio gain. Good day, Minecraftians. Well, and this is, with, this is with the compressor. Good day, Minecraftians. Welcome to the newly named Test Chamber. Without, again, going a little bit further. Good day, Minecraftians. Welcome to the newly named Test Chamber. The idea is for the, when I'm speaking, levels to come up in the negative 3 to negative 9 area. And if I get really excited and I'm loud about it, to show up in the 0 to negative 3 area. From what I understand, those are good levels for vocals, with showing a nice range of them, but still allowing uh, you to set one volume level and not have it be all over the place. So that's what I do for audio editing. A couple of you have been asking. Here you go. Now you know my process. I'm still tweaking it. I'm looking to get better. If you know more about audio editing, please throw me some informational links in the, down, uh, in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.